welcome everybody to the gallery. I'm so happy that this many people are going to hold an hold. Um, I am truly delighted to, uh, to have you here and truly delighted to introduce Anna Gaby Trotz. Um, it, she seemed, since we're opening tonight, the, or we will be opening on Saturday, officially, the Kate Dorset Collection. Anna has had the, the opportunity to work with the printmakers in Kate Dorset and I think it can give us an insight into what happens up there in the studios. Um, and so um, she's been working here right now for 10 years in total, has had several residencies there, but also had, again, I would say the honor and privilege to work with Tim Mitzilak during his residency at Open Studio. So I'm going to hand over to Anna and cheers some lights off. Um, thanks so much. I just want to thank Pat um, for having me here. I'm really excited and pleased to share my experiences in the North. Um, and I'm really excited to share that on behalf of Open Studio, where I work in Toronto. Um, my executive director, Pat McCauley at Open Studio, asked me the other day, what is it about the North that draws you there? And um, for me, I think it started over a decade ago with having the privilege to be able to actually guide two-month canoe trips in the Yukon and Northwest Territories, um, and to be able to see a land and landscape in Canada that I hadn't seen before, um, and to start to interact with communities that I also had not met in Canada before as someone growing up um, just outside of Toronto. Um, and I think the big thing for me in my work is community building. Um, I work for Open Studio in Toronto and we're a not-for-profit printmaking studio. Um, we're one of the biggest in Canada and we often are working with visiting artists and we're building programs and we're working on custom print projects and we're facilitating artists and giving space and voice to people. Um, to create their work. So for me, when I started my work at Open Studio, um, after completing a master's at the University of Alberta, it was a logical fit to start to work um, in the North again, and opportunities started to arise for me, and, and I was very excited to be able to do that. Over a decade ago, I spent a summer in Pinerton on Baffin Island. Um, and I did a program with the University of Manitoba and we were able as students to go out on the land with some of the Inuit elders um, and work with youth and engage as youth in the community. Um, and for the first time, it felt like I was able to actually connect with people um, in the North and start to learn and, and grow as a student there. One of the things that there was an Inuit elder who said in a talk, he said, I will only speak of what I know. And that's always stuck with me, that you can only speak about what your experience is. And so in this talk this evening, my experience is, I have some experience, I have less experience than other people in the North, so I'll speak about what I know, and I'd be really happy if, if people want to talk afterwards about what they, they know as well and share with me and everyone here. <coughs> Uh, just a little bit about my background, um, I'm also an artist and a printmaker. Um, a lot of my work revolves around landscape and climate change in the north. Um, right after my master's at the University of Alberta, I was fortunate enough to be able to be invited on a trip through the Northwest Passage um, and to start to look at climate change in Canada. So I just show this talk is not about my art. But this is a little bit about my background um, and looking at land and landscape and the importance of it. And we'll come back to that in this talk as well. <clears throat> These are a couple of etchings from a project. Um, so just a little bit about Open Studio. Open Studio is a not-for-profit printmaking studio. We're going to celebrate our 50th anniversary next year, which is pretty amazing. Um, we're in the 401 Richmond building, so if anyone wants to come visit, we're Suite 104, and we're happy to have people come through and see us. And I've worked as the technical director of Open Studio for the past three and a half years. So this is where I started to work on programs 
um, and projects that were actually developed well before I started there. Open Studio has been working uh, with artists from Kate Dorset since the 80s, so it's actually a long-standing uh, partnership and being able to start to build that again has been a really, really exciting part of my journey there. So this is our some of our space, this is our etching area. Um, so we've got about 5,000 square feet of printmaking space. So we do etching, we do screen printing, we do lithography and letterpress, as well as some digital work as well. So artists can come and they can actually rent space from us. So if you're a practicing printmaker, you can come in use the space and it's actually really quite busy these days which is really exciting to have a space in Toronto where artists can come and, and have a comprehensive space to work. So in 2015 we, we started to build a north-south exchange um, and so we started working with Dorset Fine Arts and the West Bath and Eskimo Cooperative in Cape Dorset Kinnick Studios and we wanted to invite an artist into the studio to work in Toronto and the artist Tim Pitsalat was a name that came up and so we were really really fortunate to have Tim in the studio um, in the fall of 2015, actually spring 2015, to work with us um, and there Tim spent two weeks and he really dove into the studio and we created two large screen prints with Tim um, seeing him work in the studio was one of the most inspirational things I think I've ever seen. Um, he came in and he started to draw these large drawings of a whale and a polar bear and he jumped right into the process. For some people, printmaking can actually be a really daunting process because there's a lot of technical things that go along with it. But for Tim, he already he had the experience and he knew exactly um, how to work in a studio and to be collaborative and to really make the most of the time um, he'd come in. He wanted to come in at 8 o'clock in the morning and he wanted to leave right as the last staff person left for the day or longer um, and he was just such a joy to have in the studio. So the picture of me pointing, I think we staged that one. <laughs> makes me look really official. <laughs> this is more like what it was like. So Tim, <laughs> Joe around with the, that's Nick Schick, who was, he was the amazing custom printer that produced the work uh, mm -hmm. with Tim in the studio. And so you can see Tim actually doing the drawing of the polar bear. So each layer in the print, I'll show them later, um, is a different layer of mylar that gets printed. So it goes down in separate layers. And Tim just had this amazing commitment to drawing and line work that I've never seen. He did not erase one line. He just came in and just, he knew exactly where he was going with, um, with the process. And it was, it was really, really, I don't think I've ever seen an artist work like that. This is him with the, with the gang. There's QC there too. Um, and it was just such, like it was two weeks, but it felt like he was there for a year. Like he was just so friendly and uh, full of joy in the space and so lucky to have gotten to know him. Um, so these are, this is one of the prints that we produced. So this is a screen print, 30 by 44 inches. So he did, each color you see there is a separate layer that he drew. So he actually produced the drawing in full color and then separated it into the black layers that you saw him working on. And I think what was really incredible working with them in open studio was that there was the ability to collaborate um, and share, like we could mix colors with him, he could see the process happening. It was very different from making a print where potentially you have an image of an artist and um, they're not there in the studio with you. So to actually be able to work with Tim was a really amazing experience. This was the polar bear and this was the last one that he did with us, and he was rushing to get, he really wanted to get that water done um, in time, and we were able to, to pull that off in two weeks, so that was a really 